Ford's efforts to dominate the pickup market are very serious. The latest generation Ranger has gone through intense development. Not just updating old models, but actually designing from scratch. Even input from consumers is considered. Now, the additional flagship variant of the Raptor has come out. Marks the third Raptor family after the F-150 and Bronco. He has so much potential behind the bonnet. Attention will immediately be focused on the Ford Performance concoction. In the form of a 3.0-liter twin-turbo EcoBoost V6 petrol engine. Power is generated at 397 PS at 5,650 revolutions per minute and torque of 583 Nm at 3,500 revolutions per minute. That figure surpasses the EcoBlue 2.0-liter bi-turbo diesel of 213 PS and 500 Nm. This variant is also available, but still next year. Obviously, for a medium-high-performance pickup the Ranger Raptor is the most muscular. But that's for the Australian market. For the Ranger Raptor in Europe, it's even different. Smaller with 292 PS of power and 491 Nm of torque. The reason is to meet the European Union's emission threshold. The cylinder block of the V6 engine is made of graphite cast iron. Ford's claim is 75% stronger and 75% stiffer than conventional iron. Turbonia no less special. Has an anti-lag system that is able to provide instant boost. For example, in Baja mode, the turbo can continue to spin for 3 seconds after the gas pedal is released. So the momentum is maintained. The power distributor relies on a 10-speed automatic transmission. The permanent four-wheel drive system has a two-speed transfer case and an electric differential lock. There are many choices of driving modes depending on road conditions. On smooth surfaces available normal, sport and slippery. Meanwhile, off-road options are given rock crawl, sand, mud and ruts and Baja. Most recently suitable for off-road speed racing, interestingly, Ford loves the voice changer feature like in the Bronco. Through the valve in the exhaust channel, it can be set quiet, normal, more noisy in sport and off-road special Baja. Then equipped with trail control which is basically cruise control for off-road terrain. Able to work up to speeds of 32 km per hour. Very helpful when the driver needs full concentration when maneuvering through obstacles.
In order for the Raptor to be able to withstand severe torture, several points of the chassis were reinforced. Even the shock mounts are thickened to deal with strong impacts. The structure of the legs is clearly not standard. The arm uses light and strong aluminum material. Like the previous Raptor, it still uses the 2.5-inch live valve shock absorber package from Fox. Then the suspension travel rises 290 mm at the front and 250 mm at the rear. The characteristics of rebound, spring rate and travel are formulated with the best balance for on-road and off-road. He said it was getting steady and stable in the two realms. The Raptor's appearance is more dashing than the regular Ranger. It's like getting a steroid injection to match the capabilities under the skin. In terms of design, it is based on the latest Ranger, which is increasingly similar to the F-150 and Maverick. The boxy and thick profile predominates eliminating the smooth and rounded lines. Seeing the previous Ranger Raptor became less scary. The new facade is the most important. The all-box shape is emphasized by a horizontal bar across from the grille to the lights. This makes it possible to use a C-shape headlamp design with matrix LED technology. Don't forget that the handsome BF Goodrich KO2 tires are required to fill in to decorate the wheel space. Inside, Ford gives off an air of sportiness, luxury and sophistication. The seats are inspired by the F-22 fighter jet wrapped in leather with code orange accents. High technology is shown by the 12-inch infotainment system in the middle which has been equipped with Ford Sync 4A. The monitor provides a variety of information, including off-road data and driving statistics. The comfort of the passenger's sense of hearing is still considered through the Band and Olufsen sound system. Assembly is centralized in Thailand and South Africa. Ford has not released a new price and will be delivered to European consumers in the middle of this year. Just wish he knew.